Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Morecast. And I'm Konstantin Kelfsil-Christakis from the That's uh, Netrunner meta, and I'm in charge of uh, Netrunner.nl. Excellent. And this is uh, Netrunner Team Morecast. This is Eindhoven Game 4 Star Championship, 14th of March. First Order and Chaos uh, tournament for me, as, as, as at least, and for the German meta. And I'm so glad to see those two players here. On the left we have Rick. <laughs> Damn it, right, Falco. Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's Rick. And it's Rick. on the right, we and it's on the right, we have Falco. New, yes. Uh, yeah, I was saying about Rick. He's like one of our new players that is doing quite well actually in our tournaments lately. And he has, he's like one of those I'm playing this identity all the time kind of guy. Like, no, no, sorry, Faction all the time. Like, he's always playing Wayland and just trying out new stuff with it. Ah. And he's kind of getting well known for it thus far. But he's a pretty good Wayland player. On the right we have Falco, and so, so this is a Titan Continental against Quetzal. Titan Continental, yeah. a new identity. Do you know what it does? I forgot. Yes. Every time you score an agenda, you can you put an agenda counter on it. Mm. So additional agenda counters for scoring agendas. And Quetzal, of course, breaks one subroutine, one very subroutine each turn for free. Uh, and without a breaker. Uh, so, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Rick... Just installs an upgrade on R and D. Oh damn! And, and I guess Falco doesn't want to see that upgrade. Yeah, he should have though. I mean, you're forced to access it. Uh, this is weird. Firewall in front of HQ. Seeing Archer, Archer on the head. There's so so much happening. I mean, I'm so. <laughs> what oh, is man. going Data on? Data leak reversal installed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game is spiraling out of control. Oh, there, there we go. Like. I also have to mention. I also have to mention that. Oh yeah, Christian Grid. Now Falco remembers to access there. Yeah. Uh, doesn't trash it though. Uh, I have to also mention that both mats that, that we see here are actually designed by me. Oh yeah, and they're beautiful. Uh, and it's actually Rick, uh, completely independent of me. He actually never met me, but he uh, was uh, excited about this Jackson Howard playmat, and he bought it, I guess, from Ink Playmats because this is where you can buy the mat. Because we love to support the German meta. <laughs> <laughs> that, was like a side, that was like a side message. <laughs> uh, that was that was so so that's so nice of you. And now you see the German meta just just uh, rolling over Rick. Or maybe Rick will prevail because again, new identity. Maybe it's capable of doing things that we haven't expected from it yet. Uh, I heard that um, the Atlas train is a thing right now. Yeah, it is. It really is. I mean, Project Atlas is a pretty good agenda, but with Titan Transnational, it just becomes amazing. Being able to like tutor any card you want out of your deck whenever you want. Like, so we see uh, another run on R&D there, no res, and then we see a run of HQ, and that's a Builder. Yes, he just advanced that Firewall. Oh. Twice, but it doesn't matter for Quetzal, because Quetzal just breaks the Firewall down, no matter what strength it is. And uh, of course, there is a steal now, that, that's a hostile take over one point for Falco. So hmm. that builder, man, that builder. I like builder. I think. It, yeah. I think I like that this kind of utility eyes that makes that doesn't stop the runner, but does something still good for the corporation. Yeah. Plus, if you play Trick of Light, it just like charges up. Ah, uh, that's true. That's also good for Trick of Light. Yeah. And I like eyes that can move around as well. Like the position of the eyes is important. Um, so I really I like builder is a really nice ice. You can move it around, right? You like with a click or something, right? Yeah, you can mm. click to uh, move it to the outermost point of the server, if I remember correctly. Falco just accessed the reclamation order. Mm, yeah, he can trash it. See, Falco just runs on R and D, and and Rick doesn't seem to be very interested in raising the ice in front of R and D. I mean, he doesn't have the money. Uh, he has only four credits. Do you think he runs snares? Because that's like standard Wayland play. Like, yeah, you can run an R and D access my snares. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. And we see a grimoire from Falco. And can we? I don't. I don't want to say that I'm awesome, but can you? Like, can we appreciate how clear and readable the game state is right now with those playmats? Yeah, they are. They are. They are. That's, that's really the, nice. That's something I really appreciate. Uh, I really have problems with with, this, with the match that you can win in these tournaments. I mean, where it's like it's awesome artwork. I really, really love Wotan and all the stuff, but it just makes the game set so busy. It's so difficult to read what's going on. The cards. Oh the cards man! Sets, oh wow! That's a change link. Yes, and it's advanced. So that means it's a, it's a century. century. I believe. 
So that's really great about the change league. I think that's one of the cards that stands out from those morph eyes. Yeah. Um, because uh, sentry strength four is really difficult to deal with. Ooh, Quetzal just doing a quality time there. Mm -hmm. That's some quality influence, if you ask me. Yeah, it's a really weird <laughs> splash from Falco right there. Why did he do that and not the no. Earthrise no. Hotel? Yeah, that, that is true, that is true. He could have done Earthrise. I guess the problem with him is like he's he wants to get tagged, so the Earthrise won't stick around long enough to, to be useful. Yeah, true. And maybe he just needs like immediate answers. Mm -hmm. But then you can could go like with uh, Express Delivery. Thank you. But I think that Rick might not run snares, considering he put a Chrism Grid there. He's yeah. trying to avoid multi-access most probably, so I don't think he would run Snares and Chrism Greed on R&D right now. Man, the way you pronounce Reek, it makes me think of Game of Thrones. Why? There is a character called Reek in there, but it's Reek with R-E-E-I. Uh, no, R-E-E-K. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. It's spelled differently. Yeah, yeah. No, it's R-I-K, right? I don't know, man. I'm I'm, I'm Greek. I, I'm Greek. I can't pronounce any of their names. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, can you tell me what what's on Sage? Oh, uh, it says that uh, you can't cross the same river twice. Ah, oh, so awesome. I, <laughs> it's I, a it's a philosophy related thing that it says. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I really hope, like Nick, really hope that it says it said. Uh, let me Google that for you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be great. <laughs> that would be actually even better. Uh, but but uh, philosophy is nice too. It's good. It's, and really nice to see yeah. Greek language somewhere. No, you know, actually, ancient Greek is actually hard for Greek people as well. <laughs> uh, seriously? Huh. So, yeah, it really is. <laughs> there are lots of similar words, but still. Shipper from people? Kaguya! Oh, s uh, So, two eyes getting Yeah, there counters? has to be something. That's interesting. I love this deck. I just can't. I just I don't know what's happening right now. It's, it's awesome. Man, there is yeah. of course uh, Jackson Howard in the server, protected by the special ice uh, parasite on the changeling. Too bad. I mean, changeling oh, was man. very div very expensive, but now it will get the tokens and it will eventually die. Even now, yeah. it will die immediately. Yeah, it was a good ice. It had a good run. And he sees a... Uh, it's one I of think that's eyes. an asteroid belt. That's an asteroid belt. That's a buyer with the Enderun. Uh, could, could be an asteroid belt. That's a buyer with Enderun. Let, let me Google this real quick for you. He's running a detection. And Trusted. he trusts detection. Oh, wow. No res. Yeah. yeah, asteroid belt is the barrier. Six, six res, nine res cost. Yeah. But if you advance it, you can uh, reduce the cost by three for every, every advancement. All right, discarding one card, and now we see Falco returning. Trick of Running light. Running on RD again. Oh man, so much RD access. That's not good. That's that's a sign the corporation is not doing well. But yeah, although tr Trick of Light allows uh, fast advancing, so maybe Rick will yeah. be able to score something. No, but that's basically what uh, I was saying earlier. Like, uh, Rick told me that it's his like old Whalen build, but mm. uh, based around the new Titan Transnational ID and Trick of Light. So he's just playing all the new eyes so that he can fast advance with Trick of Light every time Builder gives him tokens. Ah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, and and it, it has been working pretty well for him in the tournament. All right, so we see install advance and then a Trick of Light to fast advance. And indeed, that's a project Atlas, and uh, Atlas gets the Atlas token, so now we see the Atlas train! Let's go! Yeah. Let's go. My turn. Yes. And that's how... Oh, me! Oh my god. <laughs> Falco! Falco! Oh, every card, seriously, man, every card is like this heavy drop, man. Another trick of light, that's good. Oh, scoring. Falco just dropped the bomb. No, but you can raise Chrism Greed. Why doesn't you raise Chrism Greed? Isn't it three credits? Yes. I don't know what's Why happening there. No. Rick. I guess it doesn't matter anyway because he he not not raising Rick, the ice why? anyway. Like Falco gets in anyway. Like it is. No, no, no. I mean, he could have taxed him, I guess, but 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, so many scores. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a three. He could have rest the Chrism with it once, so yeah. to, to tax Falco by five. But, I mean, it's Falco has the money. He doesn't care. Yeah, but it would have still been taxing and he would have saved, like, one access. Well, it didn't really matter, is, I guess. Is, is that true? Is, if you trash Chrism, is it still not considered successful? Yeah, it's still not considered successful. Okay, I, I guess, yeah, because then that, that chance has failed. Like, the, it's considered successful after you access, right? Hmm. Ooh, spending the turn to advance stuff. Okay, so that was a space ice there. That has to be a space ice, yes. Oh, man, this oh, is going to be no. painful now. Oh, man, butt clenching right now. Oh... Uh, so many access right now. Falco is doing the pressure. Oh, scoring! Is that the end? Yeah. Three. Yeah, no, it's he not. Won. He, he won. won. He won. Where, where? He continues the access. Yeah, he won. Yeah. Why is he continuing the access if he won? They forgot. No, man. I need more points. <laughs> Falco, Falco just mans up and plays until eight points. I, I was there myself at some point. At some point, you're around. And you're like you don't, you don't believe that you won. Yeah. Wait, what, what? What is going on? I totally so lost it. With my second click, six cards. He wants he's, to see he's at seven points. Why? <laughs> Why this is doing painful. This? This, this is this is awkward. <laughs> this is painful. But They're just he's just I like. <laughs> I know, Constantine. I know how you feel about this, but let's see where this goes. <laughs> he's like hammering Wayland. <laughs> he just yeah. burned their Wayland, offices. Come on. Wayland's like, yeah, I'm going to show you all the cards. All right. I think now we're going to shake hands at eight points. And Falco is satisfied. His thirst for agendas has been quenched. He's like, I burned your headquarters, so I want to burn your your art research and development like uh, facilities yeah. now as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to see your entire deck. And I'm not satisfied until you see your entire deck. There must be some more agendas in there. Oh, I know. Man. Show me the agenda. Show me. <laughs> Swear to me. Oh yeah. man, Rick's deck just didn't work this round. I guess I I saw him in other rounds and it just worked so well. Like he had the time to actually advance the ice and be able to res all the stellar ice for tip. But I guess this round he didn't yeah. have that chance. Interesting to see, like, if oh, you well. look at all the videos from this tournament, to see, like, Chrisium Grid again not being useful in the way it's intended. Like, he installed the Chrisium Grid, but he didn't res it, he didn't make any, ch any choice anyway. It's like, man, it's, yeah. it's really difficult to figure out, you know, what stops those uh, those pesky Anarchs that, that got so powerful now. And yeah. there was not even an Eater out. I mean, Fark was able to create the pressure without the Eater. That's amazing. Yeah, well, he did keep up the pressure like on both servers by just running. I mean, as you said, yeah. he doesn't need to have like a whole rig to be suppressive. Yeah, the Falco is being uh, being fueled by beer and and pure <laughs> arrogance here right now, and of course by my beautiful Katie delivery service man. Who needs diesels, man? <laughs> yeah, that's true. He, Falco's oh, not man. a diesel kind of person. Falco's definitely a beer kind of person. He, we, we should release like a card as like beer. And then yeah. Falco will have like seven <laughs> copies of it in each deck. Uh, anyways, uh, Konstantin. Yeah. At the end of each video, we talk a little bit about Netrunners. Yeah. Um, so, Netrunner.nl with a D instead of a T. D, that's the, that's the, that's the pun, guys. Yeah, that's the pun right there. Uh, it's the home for the uh, That's Netrunner community. And we post like all kinds of stuff, like tournament reports after every tournament. Uh, strategy posts, wacky strategy posts, and we also have a calendar for people to check out to see what uh, upcoming events there are in the Netherlands and around the Netherlands. So yeah, if you want to check it out, I mean, there's lots of interesting stuff on there. Definitely, go check it out, especially if you're in the Netherlands and especially if you're near Netherlands, because this is the place to check out all the Netherlands staff stuff, which is a really great community. Uh, Konstantin, I'm not sure, maybe you're Bioroid. I think you're by right. Am I? Am I? Like, uh, yeah, uh, let, let, let me try a Kampf Voigt test with, the, with you, all right? Yes, sir. I, I, imagine you're walking down a desert and there's a planet. What do you do with the planet? I hack the planet! I hack the planet! <laughs> yes! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me.